It's currently 6.45 in the morning and I work night shift so this is like totally normal for me. Then I just randomly decided that I'm gonna vlog today. <laughs> Why not? Self-quarantine, it's Saturday. I fell asleep last night to Tiger King. I think I started it maybe around one this morning. I don't even know what time I fell asleep. Um, then I went to bed, couldn't sleep, and two hours later, here I am. So I made cookies last night from scratch. So yum. I only made one sheet and I have like the rest of the cookie batter in the fridge because <laughs> let's be real. If I cook all the cookies now or bake all the cookies now, I will eat them all in one sitting. Mm hmm. So good. That was not believable. Is anyone else experiencing quarantine 15? Because I feel like we're all slowly on our way there. And it finally stopped raining. She definitely killed her husband. Did anyone else notice this guy's last name? David Balut. <laughs> so it's been a couple days. I kind of forgot that I was supposed to be vlogging and then there was really absolutely really nothing going on the past couple days. Let's go pick up some food from the kebab shop. Yes, yes, the whole bag is for me, yes. I got a call at like quarter to five saying that they are putting me on call, which is crazy because it's the second time in two weeks that I am being put on call. But you know, you can't fight the system. This is what it is. So just trying to make the most of this situation. Saw uh, a coupon for the kebab shop for um, family packs. Wow. Yes. That is a family pack right there, and I just bought that with me. Um, yeah, on my way to go pick up my order, I remembered that my tire was flat. Yes. But every time I go to like Jiffy Lube to get um, like air put into my tires, they're like, no, your tires are fine. Your light's probably just broken. I'm like, oh, okay. And I've just been really bad with like remembering to check my tires before I get out of the car when I come home from work. That's me. Um, but when I came home from work this morning, um, I was driving home and then I started hearing a flap. My rear passenger tire has a wonderful, beautiful little nail in it. I had this thing, a tire inflator that my dad had purchased for me years ago. I never actually had to use it up until right to this moment tell me why this part the minimum voltage is supposed to be 15 in order for this machine to work my voltage is 12 and I did not realize that until I already had everything hooked up and I was like why the heck is this thing not turning on I also wanted to stop by drive through Starbucks and try to see if I can get a free coffee with my nursing badge Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, you can't see my face. She didn't even check my badge. Like, what if I was lying? Got my coffee. Does it say anything? No. Oh. Um, is it weird when I say like the coffee like tastes like Starbucks coffee? Okay, so let's eat this. Anyone else um, like to stand when they eat? Because I like to stand when I eat. I don't usually sit down at that whole last dining table and I don't even really sit there. 
brought my mask. This is a cute mask. My cousin made this for me back in white. I didn't even use it. Oh. See? Birds of paradise. So cute, right? Uh, but ever since this whole thing started happening, I've been putting my badges in a Ziploc bag because nasty stuff in there. Yes, guys. All for yours truly. I got a Greek salad. I got um, a side of falafel just so I can eat it later. Actually, I should probably put this in the fridge. And then here are my two wraps. I got, oh, it's already leaking. I got one falafel wrap and then a chicken wrap. Chicken kebab wrap. I just don't know which one is which. Oh, I just found a little surprise in my falafel. They put a little fry. Oh, they put two fries. Snuck that in there. Oh, duh. Okay. Clearly, this one is the chicken because it says kebab on it. Oh, yes. Focus. You want this. You want this. Mmm. Mm hmm. It's 11 o'clock. I just changed into my sleeping clothes. I just got a call that I have to go into work, so sad. Typically, they give you two hours to get there. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll take my time with getting ready. Merp. But that's what it is, working as a nurse. Sometimes you get placed on call, sometimes you don't have to go in, and other times, like tonight, you do so i will be at work in about an hour um i just got home from work a couple of uh, like 30 minutes ago um but i took my car to jiffy lube to see if they could fix my tire and patch a hole in it er, <laughs> wow i'm actually really tired i can't even think or vlog right now but the guy took one look at my tires. He's like, yeah, I can't patch the tire. And just so you know, all of your tires need to be replaced. Like, yeah, the tread on your tires, uh, your two front tires are like a level one or two or something. And my back tires were like a three and like a five. So he's like, you basically need all four tires and you can't, I can't patch that tire because it's on the shoulder. <sighs> Called Kevin and he's like, check with discount tire. I called discount tire, um, and they were able to uh, give me a better quote on all four. I think we all know what I'm spending my stimulus check on. My appointment's not till like 10.45, and I think it's a quarter past nine, and I'm already tired, and I just want to go to sleep. But I gotta get this done, because, uh, you know adulting and I need a car can't be blown tires while I'm on the freeway going to 80 and since I'm actually going out Going out I'm going to the tire store. I Want to look decent and actually put some makeup on Because the only time I put on makeup these days is just to go to work and Half my face is covered so you don't get to see the whole thing. Yeah, so this is real like I'm putting on my eyebrows just to go sit at a tire shop for an hour I want to look like a regular human being, part of society, you know. And it's um, it's Aloha Friday. Happy Aloha Friday. My arms. I can't hold my arm up. Okay. I've been working out. I know I've been working out. Working on these delts. I have this. What is this? Tart. Uh, where is the name? 
focused. It's a lip exfoliant. It's called Pout Prep. Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay, you know what? I can't do what the the beauty guru blogger people do. It looks like this. Um, and it scrub your lips. Okay, and it smells minty. Just like that. Exfoliates my lips, kind of makes it pinkish a little bit, or at least I like to think. But yeah, this is my finished face for the tire store and yes i'm doing this just because i haven't done makeup in a while okay no other reason okay you know what i just realized first of all yes i am wearing the same shirt that i wore yesterday all i did was sit in my car okay so i'm gonna be wearing a mask when i go outside i will be wearing a mask so all of this will be covered And now I want to take my makeup off on the bottom half because one, I will break out, two, the makeup will transfer on the mask and I really don't want that. And three, I just wasted my time, literally. So I'm going to take it off. Body Shop Chamomile um, Makeup Remover Cleansing, cleansing Butter. I am such an idiot. Oh my gosh. You can literally see the difference on my face. <laughs> I cannot take my mask off when I go out in public. Literally, it will stay on. When you've been up all night and your brain's been on like medical mode for the, you know a long time, once you clock out, your brain just turns into mush, okay? So right now I'm at that like phase where I'm just getting delirious and I just want to go to sleep but I friggin scheduled my appointment at 10 o'clock, 10.45 so I need to stay up and I need to look decent. I'm just trying to blend this out a little bit. I probably did more damage. Here and here, cause you know you always gotta moisturize after you wash your face. So, oh my gosh, my arm so sore. Okay, let me take some cream. You can barely tell on camera. I can feel a lot of people judging me right now. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> I know there's people out there that can relate to me that are not just healthcare workers. People who work overnight shifts or just work like long shifts in general. You can't think at the end of the day. There's my mask. Like you can't even tell. You can't even tell. Boom boom. Okay? Not the cutest eater. Although when I was younger, I used to go out to go eat with my cousins. They always said that when I eat, that's when like, they're like, that's when guys check you out. I'm like, what? I don't know. I'm eating. I'm not paying attention to people who are watching me.
I don't think Kevin checks me out when I'm eating. Guess who is the owner of four new tires? So happy. But I am so tired. It's almost 12. And I... I am ready to go to sleep. But um, I'm going to call Kevin. And before he goes to sleep, because it's like... Almost 10 at night over there. I didn't even get a chance to look at my tires. I forgot to look at my tires. To see how they look like. I don't... I don't know, I can probably look at them later. <sighs> but literally just pulled up in my stall, put my lug nut away, and came up here. I swear, I think about the way my mind works these days, and I'm concerned, but not really. And I'm serious. And also not really. Anyways, I'm like blabbing blabbering blabbing i've been trying to diagnose my monstera plant i've had this plant for a couple of months now i don't remember when i got it i want to say maybe last summer actually i don't even really know um but i've been noticing that the leaves have this these like dry spots around just on the edges and it seems like it's just starting from like the bottom leaves you know like this and it's sort of just discoloring especially this one this one looks pretty bad um so yeah i've just been looking online to see what they could be i don't see any bugs on here um, but the soil is fairly dry. I mean, I only water it maybe once a week. Um, but this Monstera used to be, um, by the window right over there before I rearranged my living room. And it's been doing so well. Like, I, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of myself that I was able to keep it alive this long. I mean, look at that. That's how it looks like. It looks really good. Um, this one though, this one is just kind of dying off. I should probably actually just pick this whole thing off. Uh, yeah, there you go. And this has been doing amazing. Like, look how long this is going all the way down. So, so proud of it. So apparently I've been saying tapestry wrong. Because I, I used to say tapestry. And I thought I was saying it and everyone else was saying it wrong. But apparently it's tapestry. So, tapestry. <laughs> Anyways, just wanted to hop on here to sort of end this very spotty vlog. I know it, it's it been already a week since I um, decided that I wanted to vlog. I think I started doing this on either like Saturday or Sunday last week. Thank you for watching and look out for more vlogs in the near future. Bye!